So in this short video session, we will look at the vocabulary that we use for numbers in English. We'll learn how to talk or say decimal numbers and fractions. A decimal number looks like this. And a fraction looks like this. So how do you say decimal numbers in English? Well, in English we say 0.5, which is British English, or 0.5. 0 0.5 or 0 is more international. I would advise that you learn and learn to say the word 0. Be careful. Some languages write 0 or 0, 5. But in English we have a decimal point and you must say 0 0.5. 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 as a fraction is one half. So although you see a 1 over a 2, we say one half or a half, a half. I'll give you more about fractions a little later. There are four ways that we can use numbers in English. And the four ways are addition, and there's a symbol for addition. Subtraction, the symbol for subtraction, and multiplication, two symbols for multiplication. There's the X, and there's the computerized symbol, which is a star or an asterisk. Division also has two symbols the div division bar, and also the computerized slash. But be careful in, in, in fractions, the slash represents a fraction. So let's look at each of these. In addition we use the words plus or add. An example 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 plus 1.25 is 1.75. In subtraction we use the word minus. An example 1.75 minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 is 1.25. Now instead of saying is in mathematical terms, we use the mathematical word equals and the two bar lines are the symbol for equals. An example, 0 or 0 0.5 plus 1.25 equals 1.75. And also 1.75 minus 0 or 0 0.5 equals 1.25. In multiplication, we say times or multiplied by. An example, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 equals 0 0.25 or 0 0.25. We can also say 0.5 or 0 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 or 0 0.5 equals 0 0.25 or 0 0.25. We can also say it with full numbers. So 5 times 5 equals 25 or 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25. Division. We use the words divided by in division. An example, 1.5 divided by 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 equals 3. Or 5 divided by 2.5 equals 2. So let's see how we say fractions. Let's have a look at some commonly used fractions in engineering. So we have a half a third, a quarter, an eighth, a sixteenth, a thirty-second, a sixty-fourth. We could have, for example, two-thirds in a fraction. And two-thirds equals 0 0.66 as a decimal. How? Well, one-third times or multiplied by two equals two-thirds. So, one third we know equals 0 0.33. So, 0 or 0 
times or multiplied by 2 equals 0 or 0 0.66. Remember that 2 quarters equals 1 half. So 3 quarters equals 0 or 0 0.75. Because, well, 1 quarter equals 0 or 0 0.25. 1 half, which is 2 quarters, equals 0 or 0 0.5. And 3 quarters, therefore, equals 0 0.75 or 0 0.75. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you with your vocabulary and helps you to speak decimal numbers and fractions clearly in English. Bye.